So today we're going to try this Tame the Wild temperature controlled heat comb for a beard. So the package comes with this brush. Um, right away what I don't like about it, um, which there are other brushes out there that come this way, uh, it has a cord that's attached. And uh, I don't like cords, as you probably saw from my other review when I cut my hair. Um, they just get in the way, they tangle, they don't last on, they get damaged. I don't like it. The good thing about this, though, is this one swivels, as you'll see when I'm demonstrating it. It'll move around, so it's very flexible, it moves around, so I think that might be okay. Um, when you first turn this unit on, uh, I've been using this for about a week now, you're going to notice some burning smell some plastic burning smell coming from the, the teeth of the comb, which I think is normal. Um, actually, the product uh, came with a label saying that that would happen, and uh, it's happened two or three times, and it hasn't happened since. Uh, so to turn on the unit, you're just going to push the power button, and the unit will come on. You have to push and hold. And it automatically says to 355, and it will slowly take you up to that temperature. So one thing I've noticed is 355 is not hot enough for me. I have to take it to the max, which on this unit I believe is 450, which we were going to do that here in a second. But as you can see, it does heat up pretty quick. It doesn't take long before it's ready to go. It's, it doesn't waste your time. Now, once it reaches its standard temperature, which is the 355, it locks. So while you're using it, you cannot accidentally uh, increase or decrease the temperature. You cannot even turn it off um, while it's set. So there you go. And you can already feel uh, by it from the touch. It's warm. It's not hot to where you can't touch it, but it's definitely warm, like uh, almost like a curling iron, but not as hot because it's plastic, not metal. Uh, so if you wanted to change the temperature to get a little hotter, which is what I like to do, you double click the power button and it unlocks it. And now we can take it to our desired temperature and I like all the way up, which is 450. And now it will take us to that temperature. And again, it takes no time at all to get there. It's pretty quick and you can already feel the difference in the heat. It's actually pretty warm which is about where it needs to be for me. And again, it locks, so you cannot accidentally decrease the temperature. As you can see, it says locked. You can't even power it off. Uh, to turn it off or change the temperature, you just double click the power button again, unlocks it, then you can either change the temperature or you can push and hold the power button and the unit will shut off. So the best time to use the Tame the Wild straightening brush uh, is gonna be probably right out of the shower. So, I've exaggerated my beard. It doesn't look like this when I get out of the shower. Uh, I've just taken a comb to make it nice and frizzy just so you can see um, the effectiveness of this brush. So we're going to see how it works. Uh, again, I have it set to 450. Um, now you can kind of see also that the cord, as much as I don't like cords, I like wireless. Um, you can spin this thing and it doesn't tangle. It, it's actually pretty good. I like that. Um, it is very warm to the touch. It doesn't burn. Um, I have sensitive skin and like I said, I've been using this for about a week and I've had no issues. It doesn't hurt. Um, it is warm. Um, and you do have to go kind of slow with it. You can't just brush your hair. You have to go kind of slow, which is how I'm going to show you right now. Uh, so I'll just do one side so you can kind of see the difference um, of how it works. So here we go. You just kind of want to start at the top and slowly work your way down. And it is very warm to the touch. If you have very sensitive skin, it might be uncomfortable. But for me, it's okay, and I have sensitive skin. Um, when you do get out of the shower, if you're going to use this, dry your hair completely, because heat and water don't mix, and it might steam, and it could burn you. Uh, I do hear some sizzling noise, so my beard is not completely dry. Uh, it's not hurting me, uh, but you might want to make sure you're completely dry. 
not sure if you can hear that, but you can hear the sizzling. I can see a little bit of steam. So you just want to go nice and slow, nice strokes. You don't want to go too fast because that heat really needs to get to your, to your hair to straighten it out. Okay. So one thing I've noticed, it definitely straightens, as you can see, um, from both sides. One is still very frizzy looking, one is very straight. So I think it also just depends on what kind of hair you have. Um, I have somewhat thick hair, but um, it's frizzy. So even though I've combed it, it's still kind of sticking out a little frizzy. So what I had to do is just take my regular comb sometimes just to, you know, get it nice and straight, which... Um, so this unit's not going to replace your standard comb for sure, but um, one of the greatest benefits of this definitely um, is if you get any tangles, which I do, especially in the thick parts around the chin area, um, this cuts through just like butter. I mean, it gets the tangles out so easily. So if you did have long hair on, on the top of your head, if you're so blessed, um, and you get any kind of tangles, and women, this goes for you too, um, you can definitely comb your hair with this. The teeth are nice and thick. Um, so if you have long or thick hair, this is definitely um, going to work for you. Um, for me, I, even though my hair is long, it's not very thick. So I don't feel like the teeth are, I guess you could say, short enough to really make it effective for me. They're too long. Um, I don't know if they would make a difference if they were smaller. Um, this is the only hair string I've ever tried. So I think it just depends on your preference and your hair thickness. So when I first started using this, I was just like going quick, just like that, like a regular comb, and it that doesn't work. Anything it makes it more frizzy. You really have to go slow and let that heat get to that hair to straighten it out. Yeah, there's a nice knot right there, a tangle, and this is going right through it. It's not pulling it. It's just letting me know it's there, and it hurt, doesn't hurt at all. If I were to do that with my regular comb, my comb would get stuck. It would pull the hair. It would hurt. Let's see. Overall, this does what it's intended to do. Um, I, I don't see myself using this every single day. See how I can transition from left to right hand and the cord doesn't get all tangled up. It's nice and straight still. Thanks to that little swiveling mechanism at the end. I think that's a really good design. So as you can see, um, my hair's straight, but I still have some frizziness going on. And there may be some other remedies for that. There may be a spray you can use. Um, some people like to use uh, beard oil. Uh, I do use this um, smooth groom beard oil with some vitamin E in it. Um, it works pretty good, uh, but really beard oil, most people put it in their beard and not realizing that it's really for the skin. If you have, you know, if your skin gets irritated, that's what it's for. It's not for the hair, it's for the skin. If you have very thick hair like this, it's kind of hard to get the oil all the way to the skin. And then also um, your beard stays oily. So if you were to go like this during the day or something, which if you have a beard, you're constantly doing this, thinking, and all of a sudden, yeah, I have oil all over your hands, which I don't like. So I rarely use that oil unless I'm just finished shaving, trimming around the edges. I never put it like directly into the beard. Um, but it just depends on your style and what you like to do. Again, I'll take my comb and just kind of try and get that frizziness out. The hair is nice and straight. It's very smooth, no tangles at all. And I'm just doing this just to get uh, the frizziness down to get the hair straight down. So there you are. Um, I think it works really good for what it's made for. Um, the wild beard, I definitely recommend it, especially if you have um, long hair that gets tangled easy. Um, it's definitely a good product. I'll definitely continue to use it. Uh, I really do enjoy it. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Uh, and again, just to turn it off, you're gonna push and hold the power button. Or it's locked, so you're gonna have to double click it to unlock it. And you push and hold, and it turns off. 
And it does stay warm for a while, so you want to make sure you don't get any water near it. I've brushed my teeth while this was warm, even though it's unplugged. And you're going to hear that sizzling noise as it touches it. It's not going to hurt nothing, um, but you never know. You want to keep it keep it clean and you don't want it to get damaged. So I would say let it cool off completely before you put it away into a drawer, into a, a container, or you know anywhere near water. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll answer quickly. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, we would like to get to uh, 100 subscribers here pretty quick, and you can help us out by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. And we'll see you in the next review.